we're going to do something the pelvic list today. So you're going to place your foot on the block, lining up the outside edge of your foot so it's nice and straight. And then you're going to step up and go ahead and maintain a little contact with your opposite foot as you settle in here. We're going to push through the heel of the standing leg and through this hip of your standing leg to then float the opposite foot off the floor. And we're keeping both legs straight. And just notice what it's like for you here as you support yourself on one leg. Do you have the strength to do it? Are you feeling super wobbly? Are you losing your balance? Are you having to distort your position to recruit all kinds of muscles to help you stay upright? And then go ahead and lower this foot down, the floating foot down, not so that you're putting weight on it, but just so it's coming closer to the floor. And then push back through that heel and the hip to float the foot off again. And we'll lower it down and push through the heel and hip to float it up. And one last time, lowering down and pushing through the heel and hip. And we'll shift sides. So if you notice you feel really weak and unstable, that would be super common. Set up your second foot so that the outside edge is straight. And from here, keeping both knees straight, you're going to push down through that heel and hip. And you're going to, it's almost like you're teeter-tottering the opposite side. So as you push down on your standing side, the opposite side of your pelvis floats up to get your floating foot to clear the floor. And just notice what is it like here as you stand. And then we'll go ahead and we'll lower the foot down, not putting weight on it, but just controlled lowering and then pushing down through that heel and hip on the standing side to float it back up. And then down and up and down and up and we'll go ahead and come off 